Hey, Fiberista. All right, so today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite techniques um, for art journaling, and that is using paint pens. I love, 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 love to use in my uh, art journal, and they're they're the perfect thing for mixed media. This video is sponsored by Hippie Crafter. They have sent me this box of acrylic markers to test out. And let me tell you, these these are wonderful. I love these markers. Um, they're very reasonably priced and the set comes with these awesome colors. Lots and lots of colors to choose from. They also come with a separate set of chisel tips. The tips that are already on there are like these this bullet type marker this like rounded tip. The chisel uh, tip I think is awesome. I haven't had a chance to try those out. Now the way I like to use paint pens is just some little details, uh, doing some some like zen tangle type stuff on top of on top of all kinds of different textures. Now here I'm using it on top of uh, uh, jelly plated acrylic as well as some gouache and and um, some uh, some water soluble crayons and and the paint pens just add like some just uh, that little bit of energetic detail that I just love that's my favorite way to use them but there's so many different things that you can use paint pens for I particularly like water-based acrylic markers and I've been amassing a bit of a collection because I just really love going back into my pages and adding little details like that. When I tested these out, I was testing it out over gouache. I was testing it out over jelly plated acrylic. I was testing it out over ink, all kinds of media, all kinds of paper, washi tape, um, plastic, glassine envelopes. I, I have all kinds of textures in my books. And it seemed to perform really well on top of all of that. The colors aren't terribly opaque, but I don't know that that's a bad thing. But the colors had a little bit of transparency to them. And being water-based, it was interesting how it was reactivating like the gouache and the wa uh, water-soluble crayons on my book. And they're not terribly fussy. Now paint pens in general, require priming. The instructions are on the box, but generally what you do is you shake them. Shake it, shake it, shake it for like 10 seconds. I would use a scrap piece of paper and what you're going to have to do is hold the pen tip upright and and press the marker tip down on your scrap paper until the until the tip loads up with ink. It might take a while, but some of them, you know, some some of the pens will prime faster than others and, and you definitely want to use a scrap piece of paper because uh, there's a chance that it might all of a sudden prime really fast like I did on this this white paint. But once you get it primed, I mean the color's pretty even and if it starts to feel like you're not getting an even line then I would turn around and prime the pen again, shake it up, press it down. See if you can get that line even again. Like I said, the colors are, are fantastic. You gotta love a selection that has three different purples. So yeah, the color selection is really great. I don't think that they're terribly fussy. Now I know some paint pens can be pretty fussy and you find yourself priming them often. I haven't used these in a couple of days. So what I would probably do before I begin the next section is go ahead and shake it up. See if it's, if it's producing the line I want and if not then go ahead and reprime and you're done I'm not getting clumps of color I'm getting pretty even color uh, from these pens I do like because they're water soluble they will reactivate some of uh, some of the other water soluble media that you might have on the page um, and I think that that presents a really really interesting uh, texture a couple of things about this. Um, I love that they have these these tips. I'm just a little, I'm just not really sure if I were, I feel like I would have to commit to the chisel tip or the bullet tip um, because I'm not really sure once you take the other tip out, if you've been using them, 
I'm not a hundred percent sure how you would store that tip. You might want to rinse it out and keep it in a wrapped up in a little bit of, of plastic wrap or in a Ziploc bag. I'm not really sure, but you know when you're talking about 25 tips, um, that might be a thing. However, I think I wouldn't be opposed to getting two sets of the markers and committing to a chisel tip for one set and the bullet tip for another, and then you would just have spare chisel tips or bullet set of bullet tips for each of your markers. Again, these are, are reasonable enough where I think that's a viable solution. The other thing is I kind of wish that they came sold individually. I, I understand why they might not. I can tell that I would definitely use the the whites, the blacks, and the metallics. I'd probably use those up before I would the other colors. So I kind of I so if I were to use up those and I needed another another marker, I would be buying another set. Not that there's anything wrong with having a bunch of markers, but I kind of wish that they had um, they sold replacement markers individually. Uh, for Hippie Crafter, the acrylic markers are just one of the fabulous um, other art supplies that they they have available on their website, and I'll put a link down below. Hippie Crafter, they have some wonderful, wonderful craft supplies. If you're new to paint markers, this set is reasonable enough to to get you a, a, a full range of markers and, and try them out. I really enjoyed working with them. They were really, uh, I could see these being my go-to pens. Fiberista. So go make some art.